All right, fam. So I came across two crazy videos. Now, th this video right here that you're watching got two crazy videos in it. So I need y'all to stay through the entire video. Now, before we get to the video, I do want to let y'all know, man, uh, YouTube censorship is getting crazy. Okay, it's getting out of hand. So I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Go down below in the link description box and go ahead and follow or subscribe or whatever you do. Go ahead and just hit your boy up on Rumble, okay? Because Rumble is where it's at right now, okay? That's going to be the next youtube i'm gonna be honest okay so go ahead follow your boy on rumble go ahead and do that for me man but without further ado we've been going ahead and get to these crazy two stories that i got for y'all because this is crazy america what is going on bro what is seriously going on i mean i thought we had freedom of speech but apparently not without further ado hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications follow your boy on ig what is y'all doing without further ado let's get it i understand that right but jesus is associated with religion and it's offending people no it's not just but it's not a religion, it's about, it's about eternal life. Okay, but it's the same thing, okay? People have been offended, and like I said, all we were asking you is to take your shirt off, and you go to Macy, go to Kaleem. I didn't say anything, though. I didn't say so the. Uh, you know, I'm gonna let the video play. I'm gonna let the video play. I, I'm pretty sure some of y'all already seen this because it's going, it's going viral. But I'm gonna let it play. I'm gonna let it play. We're asking you to take your shirt off. Do you go to Macy's or we can leave? I didn't say anything. Though. I didn't speak. I didn't. I didn't speak. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I just went to Macy's. So wait, hold on. This man getting kicked out because he's wearing a shirt that say Jesus saves on the front and then Jesus is the only way on the back. What happened to freedom of speech? I mean, this ain't the freedom of speech. The man didn't even say nothing. He said, bro, I didn't even say nothing. I didn't even say nothing about Jesus. I just wore a shirt. Bro, I have a clothing line myself that represent Jesus Christ. You telling me that I will get kicked out of the mall because other people are so soft around me that they can't accept the freaking truth. I don't care what your beliefs is. Just respect my beliefs. You feel me? Whatever your beliefs is, cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like we should respect each other, each other. You know what I'm saying? But I can say this. It's only one truth. It's only one truth. It's either you want to follow that one truth or you don't want to follow that one truth. But for you to go to security and say that I am offending you because of my shirt, it shows your character. It shows, bro, you have nothing better else to do with your life. This man literally went into the mall, probably trying to just get whatever he's trying to get, and he got a shirt that say, Jesus is the only way Jesus saves. <laughs> but let him would have had a Black Lives Matter shirt on. Nobody, nobody would have felt offended. But you telling me people feel offended by this? Just how they felt offended by Kanye West and uh, Candace Owens wearing a White Lives Matter shirt? They felt offended by that. America is so soft. I mean, it's it's just the people that's in America. Y'all so soft, bruh. Y'all so soft. Everything offends y'all, but the LGBTQ flag don't offend y'all. The, the simple fact, the simple fact that they are making sh TV shows for kids and putting some disgusting things inside some tv shows okay like the new like the new series velma i don't know if y'all watched that but that's disgusting and there's some kids that's really watching it because obviously she's from scooby-doo scooby-doo where are you obviously we all pretty much grew up on scooby-doo but this not about velma you know what i'm saying my my point that i'm trying to make is that it's a whole bunch of things that's going on, a whole bunch of nonsense that's going on with the media and all this and that. A person with a shirt that says Jesus saves and y'all got so offended by that. <sighs> unless you want to be, unless you want to be placed in another. If you want to shop here, you need to take that shirt off. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is, what is, what is wrong with my teacher? What is wrong with my teacher? Again, sir. It is religious soliciting. There is no soliciting allowed on law property, which is private property. Okay? So again, we've got yes no talk. Exactly. What is wrong with you? Take it off the shop, man. 
اصحابي بقول ان البلد او بلد No, I'm serious. I know the parents teach you. But you were last time, the last time I was here, they told me to leave for 24 hours. I did. Yes. That day I was preaching. Yeah, I was preaching the gospel that day. Yes. You're still listening. And again, I'm walking. Yes, you're walking wearing that shirt in the form of solicitor, and we've had guests come up saying that they've been offended by your shirt. Who said that? Who said that? We've had guests come up and say you can offend it. So, like this gentleman just said too, take the shirt off and you can go shopping. That's it. Man, I don't care what nobody say, bro. I can wear whatever I want to wear. You don't control me. You don't control what I wear. I don't care if it offends you or not. What I have on my shirt is not it's not disrespecting you. Just mind your business. You ain't got to look at the shirt. You ain't got to look at the shirt. Just mind your business. But I mean, even the Bible tells us that if they hate you, just know they hated Jesus Christ first. It's crazy how, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy to me how we can wear Christians. We'll wear something like a Jesus Save shirt and get kicked out of a mall for it. But let us would have wore something with dealing with Muhammad or let us would have wore something dealing with any, any other religion. I guarantee 100% we would never got kicked out of the mall for it. I guarantee that. Let us let let people wear a shirt that say, uh, "Excuse my French," but let 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 just for example, a shirt that say "Of Jesus Christ." Let me will wear some shirt like that. I would never wear a shirt like that, but I guarantee that person that will wear a shirt like that would not get kicked out of the mall. They would not get kicked out. That would not offend anybody. <laughs> but that that's the first story, y'all. That that story right there is crazy. I, I it's crazy to me how. We say freedom of speech. We 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 say all these great things, and but then this is things. This is what happens. This is what happens. We get kicked out of the mall because of a shirt. He, the man not preaching. He not saying nothing. He's not doing nothing. He's walking, trying to shop with a shirt that say Jesus saves. Why is that such a big problem? Y'all so worried about what the man's shirt says. Let the man walk in peace, bro. Let him do what he got to do. Now, the second story that I got for y'all. Now, this story right here, um, I don't know if I want to react to this one or this one. I think I want to react to this one first. So, this story right here is basically a hockey player. Now, I, <laughs> this shows. Now, like I said, I have a point behind what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'm showing how America is like we are, we've been stripped from our freedom of speech. That's what I'm showing right now. I'm bringing this to the light because this is not, these not even, these two videos ain't nothing compared to the thousands of videos I could have reacted to in this one video. It's crazy how we are being stripped from our freedom of speech. If our opinion, if our, if our viewpoints does not match up with the left viewpoints, I guarantee, okay, it, it's, it's like our viewpoints don't match up with their viewpoints. We're canceled. Freedom of speech stripped away. But let our viewpoints match up with their viewpoints. Oh my gosh, everybody's praising us. Like we're some God. So, anyways, we're gonna watch this video right here, bro. This is ridiculous. Now, I didn't honestly see the video. Like, I'm I'm I, look, I'm trying to do genuine reactions. Okay, so I didn't really see it. I seen clips. All right, so we go watch this, and um from the clips I seen, I already know what is similar or what it's about to be about, but anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I respect everybody's choices. My choice is to stay true to myself and my religion. That's all I'm going to say. Philadelphia Flyers defenseman Ivan Provorov boycotted his team's pride night and did not step out on the ice for warm-ups before a recent NHL game. Prior to the Flyers game against the Anaheim Ducks, players wore a pride night jersey and used sticks wrapped in rainbow pride tape. Provorov cited his religious beliefs as the reason for choosing to skip the pregame skate. The defenseman, who said he is Russian Orthodox, declined to go into further detail. You guys call your religion Russian Orthodox. Following the game, the Flyers organization affirmed its support for the LGBT community, but did not comment specifically on Provorov's choice to boycott the Pride promotion. Flyers coach John Tortortella said he respected Provorov for being, quote, true to himself and to his religion. With Provy, uh, uh, he, he's being true to himself and to his religion. This has to do with his belief in his religion. 
And it's one thing I respect about Provy. He's always true to himself. National Women's Soccer League player Jaylene Daniels also created headlines last summer when she refused to wear a Pride-themed jersey and subsequently had to sit out an entire game. You see, you see what I mean? Stripped away from the freedom of speech. Stripped away from what we, what, what we want to do. America supposed to be the land of the free, right? So why, and why is it a problem? Why is everybody making a big deal? Why is this even on the headlines? Because this man doesn't want to wear an LGBTQ, I see, so, I, 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 ta, o, ha, well, however many letters y'all got in that freaking, just that one, that, that one word. I don't even know how many letters is in there, okay? It's so many, bro. I, I don't even know no more, bro. I lost train of thought. I swear I did. It went from just being lesbian, gay, transsexual to being good or I don't even know no more. But why is this such a problem? Because the man didn't want to wear a jersey, you know, dedicated to pride. And for, for the people out there that's so lost that really think the rainbow means pride, it does not. The rainbow indicates God's promise. That is why the rainbow was, that's why the rainbow's even there. But guess what? The world done switch it up and we done put pride on it. So now we think the rainbow means for the gay people. It does not. But all I'm going to say is he wants to stay true to what he represent, what he believe in. Let him stay true to that. You can't argue with the man. You Why are y'all mad? Why are y'all mad about what the man wanted to do? <laughs> like, just how y'all stay true to what y'all believe in. Let that man stay true to what he believe in. He never once said out his mouth that, oh, I just, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like any people. I don't like that. I don't like LGBT. Like, he didn't say none of that. You know what I'm saying? He said, look, I respect whatever, but I'm, I'm going to stay true to myself and stay true to my, I'm stay true to my religion. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just what it is. <laughs> but I, I want to show y'all this real quick. This is, I, it's, it really is irrelevant, but I just want to show y'all this. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this was Pride Night for the Flyers. The team wore rainbow colored jerseys to be inclusive. Ivan Provorov should never have been allowed to play tonight after what he did. If he didn't hear tonight was Pride Night for the Flyers. The team wore rainbow colored jerseys to be inclusive of the 2SLGBTQIA plus community. And Provorov made the very brave decision not to participate because he's standing up against including marginalized communities. Provorov took the coward's way out and hid behind his religion. His argument was basically, because of my religion, I can't put on that jersey. Listen, I've seen a lot of people defending Provorov, saying, look, it's an individual opinion. But from a technical standpoint here, I mean, it's the Flyers making a statement about inclusivity as a team, as an organization. If Provorov doesn't want to be on the team, look, that's fine. Freedom of speech. But guess what? You also can't play because you're not on the team. I'm tired of people like this being treated as martyrs or heroes because all they're doing is punching down on marginalized communities. I just see no defense for stuff like this. What a terrible message for the youth. Ivan Provorov should never have been allowed to play. T he can do whatever he wants. Is he not entitled to that opinion? Bro's mad because one NHL, one NHL player choose to not wear a warm, a warm up jersey. You're so hurt, I love it. it <laughs> Bro, even the comments against you, bro. Like, s seriously. Bro, be better, bro. Uh, that's all I have to say. Do better, bro. The man at Freedom of Speech, bro, he wants to do what he wants to do, bro. It is what it is. I don't know why this stuff is even on the headlines, y'all. It's, 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 it is what it is. If my viewpoints don't match up with yours, does not mean you have to strip away my freedom of speech. We are all entitled to what we, what we believe. We are all entitled to our own opinion. That's, that's what we're entitled to. I'm just saying, bro. Y'all always trying to strip away somebody freedom of speech when they when they viewpoints don't align with what y'all think it is or what y'all want what y'all want everybody else's viewpoints to align align to. That's not how life works. We all human beings. The greatest thing about humans is that we all are different in our own ways. We all have different opinions. I may agree with you on something, but I may not agree with you on the next thing. You may agree with me on something, but you may not agree with me on the next thing. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below uh freedom of speech is stripped away just saying i mean it, it it is what it is though this is the world that we live in um and psh, cancel culture man cancel culture i mean even even youtube itself I'm, i ain't gonna say too much but i'm just saying if you know you know twitter well used to be <laughs> if you know you know 
But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Oh, y'all. Y'all, we are so close to 100K. Y'all know what to do. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.